Will actor Vijay do a Rajnikanth? Will Ilaya Talapati support the opposition to ensure the ruling party doesn't come to power? That's the big exclusive on NDTV Hindu tonight. Join us for a special discussion at 8 p.m. Is Amma Vijay's last refuge? NDTV Hindu senior editor Radhika Ayer will join a host of panelists to break that down for you. Also on NDTV Hindu, is the local petrol bunk taking you for a ride? You can stare at the meter all you want and you can still be cheated. With the petrol prices hitting another high, NDTV Hindu lets you witness this gross deception. And at 9.30pm, what impact does the WikiLeaks expose have on diplomats? On We Connect tonight, the British Deputy High Commissioner Mike Nithavianakis speaks exclusively to Jennifer Arul. This is NDTV. watching NDTV Hindu. Just ahead of the 1996 assembly elections in Tamil Nadu, superstar Rajnikanth announced his support for the DMK. He just did not want the AIDMK to come to power. His fans followed his advi advice and th the DMK came to power with a thumping majority. In 2010, it seems that arguably the biggest star after Rajni and Kamal in Tamil Nadu, actor Vijay, wants to do just what Rajni did, to announce support for a Dravidian party with the hope that the other does not return to power. Rajni supported the DMK and it seems that Vijay is all set to support the AIA DMK. Why, when and what does that mean? We discuss that in detail. If and when that happens, it could change the dynamics of the political scenario here in Tamil Nadu. Reacting to that, Badar Saeed of the AIA DMK and Kushbu of the DMK. And on our panel tonight, Mr. Krishnanand, political commentator and Bama Devi, senior journalist who's covered Tamil cinema for over a decade. Let's get started with the headlines. Actor Vijay's father hints at Vijay announcing support for the AI DMK. Speaks exclusively to NDTV Hindu. Vijay want to do something to the Tamil society. With Vijay moving closer to Jay Lalita, the DMK puts up a brave face. DMK star power says Vijay cannot get the votes. DMK Patriot M. Karunanadi slams media reports that he took money from Bairadi Marin to make him a minister. Filling a tank full of petrol? Beware! With already roof high prices of petrol, you may be even paying more than what you buy. Gautam Menon has no romantic tales to tell this time. It's all about the dark underbelly of Chennai. I want to make something hard and dark. So that's what this film is all about. There is no music. There's no background score in the film. You won't hear a strain of any instrument in the film. This melody month of Marguerite, Bombay Jayshree dons a new role. She turns lecturer. Before we give you details of that filmy Friday, quite literally, let's get you the national headlines. In the latest WikiLeaks expose, the US Envoy's cable says Rahul Gandhi told him that Hindu terrorism is a bigger threat than LDT. We need to remain vigilant against all kinds of terror, clarifies Rahul Gandhi, as the BJP accuses him of weakening India's war against terror. Reacting to the WikiLeaks on custodial torture in Kashmir in 2005, Omar Abdullah says not that, that he is not going to investigate now. Its governor was the chief minister in Karnataka. The BJP now calls the governor as an opposition leader. The U.S. says Pakistan's action against terror on its soil will decide the outcome of the war against terror. Good evening, I'm Radhika Ayer and here is an NDTV Hindu exclusive straight away for you. The man who knows what Vijay is thinking and planning has broken his silence. Vijay's father, S. Chandrasekhar, film producer, says his son is under political pressure. He has hinted that they met Jay Lalita recently just this month to discuss the political scenario. Peter has this exclusive interview. 
அப்படி தான் போய் பார்த்தோம் அதே போல் இப்படி ஒரு சந்தர்ப்பம் கிடச்சது எங்களை சந்திக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு வாய்ப்பு கிடைச்சது அந்த சந்திப்பு அது ஒரு ஒரு நல்ல சந்திப்பு அது அந்த மலர்ந்த முகத்தோடு அவங்கள எங்களை வந்து என்னை வந்து வரவேற்று அவ்வளவு நேரம் எங்கிட்ட வந்து நாட்டுடைய நிலைமைகளையும் அரசியல் நிலவரங்களை பற்றி பேசுனது வந்து ஒரு நல்ல விஷயம் Our senior correspondent Peer Mohammad who got that interview put what his statement mean in perspective he also got the DMK and particularly the star power of the DMK to react to that let's see This meeting is the latest indication of how politics and the entertainment industry need each other actor Vijay's father SA Chandrasekhar exchanged greetings with Jai Lalitha It comes amid reports that the domination of Hollywood by people close to the DMK party had pushed Vijay off the screens. அது கொஞ்ச நாளா நான் ஃபீல் பண்றேன் சார். ஃபீல் எப்படி பண்றேன்னா விஜய் ஒரு தமிழன். ஒரு தமிழன் தமிழ்நாட்டுல வளர கூடாதா? வளர முடியாதா? அப்படிங்கற ஒரு கேள்வி எனக்குள்ள எழும்பிக்கிட்டு இருக்குது. ஏனா ஒரு தமிழனாக தமிழ் மக்களுக்கு சர்வீஸ் பண்ணணும்னு நினைக்கிறார். அந்த சர்வீஸ் வந்து சரியானபடி ரீச் ஆக மாட்டேங்குது மக்களுக்கு If Jai Lalitha's AIA DMK believes Vijay's large fan following could bring votes the DMK appears to be a step ahead with actor Kushbu already scheduled to campaign for the party to counter Vijay If uh, my opposition party thinks that uh, because of Vijay they are going to get extra votes uh, into their party uh, all I can say that uh, it's a wrong calculation Rajnikanth's open support for the DMK TMC alliance in 1996 worked wonders. Vijay is probably attempting to do that for the AIA DMK in 2011. In Chennai with Peer Mohammed, Jason Tosh for NDTV Hindu. So why and when will this move be taken by Vijay? It seems that this is a very very calculated not just political move but also a move to bring his career back in shape in fact in may vijay faced a threat of ban on his films by the owners of theaters all over the state the theater owners wanted him to pay back for the losses they made because his films didn't do well vijay has had not one not two but a full five flops here's a brief report card on vijay's recent films <laughs> The Sura is now battling for life out of water. Actor Vijay who imagined that his 50th film would put him on a higher pedestal had ironically posed a threat of ban on all his future films if he didn't pay up theater owners at least 35% of the minimum guarantee amount in May. In Sura's case, theater owners paid to the tune of 50 lakh rupees before the release of the movie after all the hype around it. The Illya Dalapati as Vijay is fondly known has had 5 flops in a row. The dual role he played in Aragya Tamil Magan in 2007 didn't quite yield him a hit. His Kuruvi opposite Trisha didn't go the gilly way either. 2009 was bad again for Vijay. Both his films starting with the alphabet V, Villu and Vete Karan didn't see victory. And his latest Sura clearly drowned. Vijay has 3 films in the pipeline: Kavalan, Velayudham and Nanban. And Vijay knows that apart from a good script and story, He sure needs a nanban to ensure his films see longevity. NDTV Hindu Bureau Report. So why have Vijay's films not been doing well? Apart from the apart from fighting the villains in the films which uh, as a film critic I can say has been really having bad scripts and stories, is he also fighting villains in the real life, in real world? Vijay's friends and family say that the first family of the DMK is the first villain he has. In fact, a 36-year-old Vijay would have been a star DMK cadre if things didn't take the wrong turn. In January 2006, the DMK practically came knocking on his door when the actor joined the then Union Telecom Minister Dayanidhi Maran in Delhi to receive the Pongal postage stamp released by the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. The fact that Vijay was chosen above Uh, more pan india names such as kamal hassan raised many eyebrows in the both political and film circles nearly seven films have been released from 2006 till now when vijay was asked to pay back for the flops he felt that pro dmk distributors were arm twisting him
His fallout with Uday Nidhi Stalin of Red Giant after Kuruvi in 2007 is an open secret. Vijay sympathizers allege that since then, Sun Pictures and Red Giant Productions have been using their clout to ensure that his films don't run longer than a month. And that is Vijay's allegation. Uday Nidhi Stalin of Red Giant Movies now holds the rights to uh, Vijay's uh, earlier film Ka Kuruvi and after which was the fallout and the actor feels threatened. AIDMK, it seems, in his last is his last sucker and will Vijay throw his weight behind the AIADMK with a hope that Jay Lalitha will bail him out. Is this move not just a political one but also to ensure that his film career is back in track considering Kavalan uh, is waiting to be released but uh, Vijay of course uh, will have his win-win if of course he backs the AIADMK but what does that mean for the state politics? We discuss that in detail with our panel. We'll be back in a short. Thank you.